on August 12, 2020, I became an application architect. This was a huge accomplishment for me. I completed five certifications this year, two of them in order to get the application architect certification. I'm Walters954 from SalesforceMentor.com. In this video, I'll be going over my journey to become an application architect. Hang around until the end where I'll be going over some study guidance that I used and other resources that help me pass all of these certifications. So what is the Salesforce Application Architect Certification? This certification qualifies you as somebody who's been around the Salesforce block a little bit. An application architect has a broad understanding of the Salesforce platform, you know, standard data models, complexity around sharing, basic development, and a lot of the automation tools that go into making Salesforce work properly. If you're looking to get this certification, ask yourself a few questions. Do you know the standard data flow of Salesforce objects? What leads do? Why they convert into accounts and contacts? What opportunities do and beyond? Why do some of these even exist? Why aren't they all on one table? If you need to restrict access to some records for a specific user, how would you do that? If you need to sync fields from one object to another, let's say accounts to opportunities, what tools do you have at your disposal to get this done? Now these are very broad questions, but a thousand different possibilities on how to overcome these challenges pop into my head, and that's what it's like thinking as an architect. Most of the people that I've seen with this certification have at least five years on the Salesforce platform, and the application architect certification is actually made up of four other certifications. There's the platform app builder, platform developer, sharing and visibility designer, and data architecture and management designer. That's also the order that I'd recommend taking the exams, but that's just a suggestion. Each of those exams helps solidify your knowledge and deep understanding in those four important areas. After you complete those four certifications, they automatically grant you the application architect certification. There's also the optional community cloud certification in the hierarchy that you can take, and I'd actually really recommend that you take that. Now you may be wondering, why would I care about it if it's optional? Well, there's actually a ton of community cloud and community specific questions on all of these exams. If you're not planning on taking the community cloud exam, make sure to brush up on your community concepts. You will fail an exam if you are not on top of your community cloud questions. Now you may be thinking, I only needed two certifications. Why did I take five? Was I trying to pump up my numbers? Yes and no. I work as a consulting firm, so it's very important that I continue to get certifications and it's a very competitive environment. So if you're looking to grow your skills really fast and continue to get certifications, I'd recommend consulting. But my first certification that helped me on my application architect journey was actually platform developer one, which I got in 2017, which means it took me four years to become an application architect. As of recording this video, I have 12 certifications, but all of those aren't required to have a healthy Salesforce career. If you're good at what you do, know your stuff, the certifications mean nothing. Experience trumps certifications any day. That's not to say that these architect certifications are worthless. They are a surefire way to show your peers and your clients and potential employees that you have skills and are committed to the Salesforce ecosystem. You have a deep understanding of things inside and out. This also gets you one step closer to the coveted CTA title. More videos to come on that later. Any certification is a huge accomplishment and you should be proud of it. Never let anyone dilute your success and hard work. If you're on the path to become an architect, you're probably looking for some resources to help you study. The main resources that I've used over the years are Trailhead, big shocker there. I'll always cram in the end with focus on force and a few different quizlets, but never rely on those as your only study resource. I've also been using daily force. You all probably know about the other resources, but daily force is actually an emailing service that I created to send out Salesforce exams questions right to your inbox. You get a new one every day. So check down in the description for a link to that. Remember, don't be afraid to share your accomplishments. These are huge successes. Use the hashtag journey to CTA to connect with other Salesforce Ohana that are on the same path. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped motivate you to become an application architect, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. 
I'm Walters954, and remember, I believe in you.